Hello traders, welcome to DDT Stacks. And this is DDT Stacks Forex Trader from DDT Stacks Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to identify fair value gaps in your charts. So, what are fair value gaps? Fair value gaps are they are gaps that you know price will go and come back to fill that gap. So there can be two instances of fair value gaps, which is an imbalance, which price com comes back to fill that imbalance, or it could be a, an entry point, as I have explained in other videos, confirmation entry using fair value gaps. So now I want you to understand how to how fair value gaps works and how you're going to identify them in your trades. So you can see from here that we have three candles. So what we mostly target are the first three candles or three candles. Okay. And then so this is a bearish movement, you know, candlesticks. So let's say there's a bearish, there's a change of character. Now there's a bearish movement. So from the the point of of or the pivot point, we have to notice that the, this is the first candlestick, the second and the third. So the first candlestick. All right. So this comes along with um, a wick. Okay. So we make sure that the first candlestick and the third candlestick, there should be a gap in between. The wick of the third candlestick should not touch the wick of the first candlestick. You get it? So you can see there's a gap here in between the first and the and the third. We are going to also find some in our uh, charts. That's real life example. Now let me explain this to you. Can see this is a real life chart, so you can clearly see that this week has a point of pivot or a change of character. So this week, this candle. Sorry. So one, two, and three. You can see that. The wake of this candle doesn't touch this candle, so there's a gap in between. So this is what we term as a fair value gap, and that price will go back and you know tap into that fair value gap. As you can see, price came all the way, all the way, tapped into the well, didn't really tap, went all the way down came back to tap into the fair value gap so in this instance is an imbalance instance as i said we also used for um confirmation entry so this can also be a confirmation entry as in you can clearly see that there's a change of there's a change of character here Price was in the in, in an uptrend and suddenly came into a downtrend. There's a change of character here, and after the change of character, the we identify you know we identify fair value gaps. So we can find a fair value gap here as one, two, three. You know the wake of this green candle doesn't touch the wake of this long. So it could be a fair value gap as well as one, two, three, the three uh, red candles to the same thing. So we you can identify a lot of fair value gaps and expect price to tap in. So with this, we also identify a fair value gap. So you can have about three fair value gaps and then just expect price to tap in, uh, move sideways. So 
as I said, explaining the fair value gap, you can see the previous candle, which is this. This candle here, the red candle. And the second candle, which is a large candle with a high volume. And the third, that's a following candle. The wake of this candle and the wake of this candle doesn't, doesn't, uh, yeah, it doesn't meet. In an instance, you can see that this green, so let's start from the green, the green, red, red, you can see there's no fair value gap because if the green is the first candle, the third candle, which is the last candle, or the large candle, the wake, or even the body even surpasses the first or the green candle. So that can't be a fair value gap. So we then move on to the second, which is this red candle, as I've indicated as the previous candle, you can see that the wake of this candle and the third candlestick they don't meet so it has caused a gap which is an imbalance and then we expect price to tap in to that you know that soon Moving up, fair value gap as an entry. So, market was moving in 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 bearish as sellers were in control, and then there was a change of character. Now market is moving up also because of the change of character. Then we need to find fair value gaps. So, market has broken structure. It has to tap into a fair value gap. We can clearly see that this where the, the mouse is that's counted from here one, two, three. There's a fair value gap here. So this could be one fair value gap. And then moving from here, one, two, three, there's a fair value gap as uh, the wake of this candle doesn't tap into the wake of the third candle. So, this is a gap which has been caused. And we expect markets to you know, tap into that gap. So, you can have about two fair value gaps here. Expect markets to tap into one. Sometimes markets can tap into one and tap into the second one as well. So, Market came all the way to tap into this fair value gap and then it's moved in the you know in an uptrend. So for a, a confirmation on entries after this change of character, market tap into the fair value gap and then you can buy here, you can buy from this zone, that is what we call aggressive entry, or you can buy from this zone. That will be a safe entry. So, fair value gap as price fills this gap, you can see a fair value gap was created. As the wick of this candle doesn't tap into the wick of this candlestick. So there is a gap, or uh, we can see, yeah, we can see the wake of this candle, the first candlestick, the red candle, or the hammer candle, doesn't tap into the wake of this third candlestick. So this is the gap between. So we can say this is a fair value gap, as you can see price fills the gap, price came all the way to tap into the fair value gap and then it's run off so i want to just look at the structure so as i said there should be a gap between um uh, yes three candlesticks as you can clearly see from here there was a gap between this red and the third candlestick so identified as a fair value gap so in instances 
for you know here we can have an entry fair value gap and an imbalance fair value gap as well so let's say there's a change of character right here change of character here and then we expect an imbalance so after this we can clearly see that this wick here this candle here and this third candle the wicks don't meet so this could be a fair value gap as well as yeah this could be a fair value gap from this instance to this instance is a fair value gap and sometimes too with the white candlestick as the the red candle we can also count from there from this this large volume candlestick to the third one you can see there's a gap as well which caused a fair value gap and then the next candle which is the green candle or the blue candle tapped into that fair value gap so as it's tapped into that fair value gap you can have an aggressive entry to sell this trade so you can sell as uh, immediately it tapped into and closed or you sell here that's the next candle so you selling you know again to make a lot of profits from there and as well identify another fair value gap but this is the instance of imbalance so this fair value gap as well you can clearly see you can clearly see that the wick of this candlestick doesn't tap into this uh this shooting style yeah so this candlestick the wick doesn't tap into it which caused a fair value gap here this can't be a fair value gap because this candle see how long the wick is tapped into the third candle which can't be a fair value gap so this is rather so you can you know just identify a lot of fair value gaps in your trades and then as you can see price came all the way to fill that gap and came all the way to even fill the first fair value gap so your homework is to identify fair value gaps in trade screenshot and send to me on telegram to also help you out now let's run into the chat to find a fair value gap so we can see from here this is a trade we we took it was a trade we took uh, in our telegram channel on 22nd June 2023 we took this trade and had this massive profit so here we took this fair value gap trade as an entry as we had a change of a change of uh, character here as price broke this low so a chain of character and then after this chain of character you have to identify a fair value gap so we can even have a fair value gap from this side from this side even as an imbalance you can see from this first red candle to the third there's there's a gap a fair value gap here as well as this same candle to this candle we have a fair value gap here so there you can identify a lot of fair value gaps and as well as this candle this candle this very candle 
to the third one here we can also identify a fair value gap so we can identify a fair value gap to from here there are a lot of fair value gaps in this particular shade and then as you can see after price tapped into this fair value gap price came all the way tapped into this fair value gap came all the way again to tap into this fair value gap again so with this i had my entry point here as i said you can buy aggressively immediately it touches the fair value gap or wait for formation of either or three confirmation candlesticks and then i took the trade from here and we had the massive and you can clearly see we had this massive you know massive uh profit in our telegram channel and as I said, there are imbalances, imbalances here. We had two imbalances of fair value gaps causing imbalances here. And as you can see, price came all the way to tap into those fair value gaps as imbalances. So imbalances are, they are, uh, you know, yeah, there are gaps which price will come back to tap into as i said so it came back all the way to tap into this imbalance but for entries you need to also uh, make good use of your support and your resistance as well so uh, i hope you like this video join my telegram channel the link is below in the description Subscribe to this channel as well, turn on notifications. If you have any questions, you can comment and find fair value gap screenshots and then let me know in the Telegram channel. Thank you.